right, thank you, Julie. We have a special guest with us this morning, but first we want to tell you about a study. It was released just here recently. Uh, it's revealing how few new moms are able to meet their uh, breastfeeding goals. The numbers will be released in July's issue of Pediatrics. So I uh, get this out of the 85% of new moms who say they intend to breastfeed three months or longer, just 32.4% are meeting that mark. And out of those who quit, 42% stop within the first month, 15% stop before they even leave the hospital. So I want to talk to local doula and uh, breastfeeding uh, educator here, uh, Sarah Shaver, to tell us more about how to just help local moms meet their goals. We've seen a lot about breastfeeding in the news lately and, and, and sort of the more controversial side of it, but really right. just, just we're talking just about basic goals and what moms hope to do. And I think a lot of moms figure, I'm gonna have the baby and we'll just start breastfeeding and it's gonna be great. And they don't really plan for what might happen. So what do you think might be one of the, the biggest reasons or biggest obstacles moms come across when they when they get started yeah the biggest reason moms quit breastfeeding is because they don't believe that they're making enough milk okay um, I've because heard it a lot yes that's what you typically hear when a mom quit breastfeeding so the it's a perception though okay. less than two percent of the population actually doesn't make enough milk for oh, their wow. babies that's very low it's very low <laughs> and even those moms can still mostly or partly breastfeed their babies okay. too. Um, so it's a perception thing and it just comes from us formula feeding for so long that right. we don't know the differences between formula feeding and breastfeeding and so it makes moms think they're not making enough milk because baby's right. crying you know then they yeah. give baby a bottle of formula and because formula is so much harder to digest than breast milk Baby goes out, stops crying, sleeps for three hours, and they're like, I'm not making oh, enough, but it's yeah. a misperception. And there's so much to uh, emphasis on, you know, baby weight, which is very important. Yes. But, you know, I, from own experience, I, I know my breastfed baby is, he's a big guy. Yeah. And we're just really lucky that's gone well, but I, having friends that um, have smaller babies, and they were concerned too, but the baby's healthy. It's just, you know, every baby has a different sort of healthy range. Yeah, every baby's different, yeah, and yeah. so it's important to know um, how to get the right information. Right, absolutely, and just prepare for, for what's ahead. Well, and know to when to get help and who to contact okay. if you need help. That's the big, big thing. Right, right. That's and once you start supplementing or think, okay, I'm gonna give a little extra, it's sort of a very slippery slope It there. is a very slippery slope um, because the hormones that you make with breastfeeding, even just one bottle of formula can so make a difference on your milk production. Okay. So you start on formula and you can kind of hit this snowball effect unless you know how to work yourself out of it. Okay. Like even if you need to supplement, which happens sometimes. Yes. Um, you know, knowing how to do it and how to get out of supplementing is really, really important hard. and it usually takes support. I, and overall, what is your best piece of advice? Because so much so much can come into breastfeeding and whether or not it's, it's successful. What do, what do you think? That's advise? really true. My biggest piece of advice is know who to call. Take that phone number with you to the hospital, put it in your baby bag before your baby's born so that way you can get that help even right. at the hospital or at home and get help sooner rather than later. Okay. If you're digging yourself into, if, it, if you're having problems and then you wait a week to call someone, it's gonna take you at least a week to, to get out of out. it. Okay, and not just rely on the hospital lactation consultant. You might yeah. really need someone to help you out personally. These days, labor and delivery nurses, mother baby care nurses, and OBs aren't super educated on breastfeeding, okay. and even a lot of pediatricians. So they have a lot getting of lactation consultants or birth doulas or breastfeeding educators, those are the really kind helps. of people that are really educated on that. Gotcha, all right, and we'll have more information on our website later in the day too. Sounds you can go great. To. Thank you, Sarah.